are doing a bit of a room tour. So I worked Initially, I was supposed to do the room by myself, but it was just taking way too long and I wasn't going anywhere. So then I worked with Keisha, who basically does interior decorating. She helps transforming houses, even rooms and offices. And she um, came on board and she helped us with Nuri's room. When I gave her instruction, I told her that I actually want a playroom that is uh, that has Montessori Learning Incorporated and full of color and obviously gender neutral that Zani has to be able to in it as well as Nuri. So this is what she's come up with. It's been amazing. It's taken us about four to six weeks, yeah. With all the suppliers, I will mention all the suppliers who are involved. And yeah, I highly recommend. Everybody I've included has given me exceptional services. Um, and obviously I didn't, um, Keisha was the one who was getting the contacts for me. She knew exactly who to go to, which made my life easier. I literally would just sign off things, sign off the designs. And it was honestly such an amazing experience. And Nuri's in heaven. And let us take you, actually I think we'll take you through the room with Keisha so she can explain everything and how she came up with um, each design. But as we can see, little girl over there is in heaven. Are you smiling, smiling for the camera? How do you, do you like your room? Is your room pretty? Mommy? Yes, that's her favorite. The TP is like her favorite. Count to 10. Nine. Yeah. Okay guys, so I decided I'm going to get Keisha to come and tell us everything she's done at the playroom and she's going to walk us through it and tell us who she worked with and what inspired. Do you want to say hi? Hi everyone, <laughs> uh, my, uh, my name is Keisha and as you know I'm from the Homing Pigeon and we worked with some amazing suppliers to put together this incredible room for Nuri and Zani. Um, so yeah, I'll just walk you through and you can have a look and see at the amazing quality and how the whole room came together. Was it hard to put together something? Because you, lit I literally gave you ideas and then you gave me an entire drawing and I had to pick and you made it happen. What's the process with that? Well, you, first of all, you were very easy to work with. Your ideas were um, quite succinct and I actually got your style quite quickly yeah so the process how we worked was um, you know we did a quiz just to understand your style yeah then you sent it back to me and I analyzed the quiz just to fully understand what you wanted and what you don't like yeah then um, I put together a mood board for you and sent together um, sent with that the uh, the concept of the different areas of the room what could work what won't work yeah and yeah I mean we, it was actually pretty smooth sailing from there Is Hard, what's the hard part? Getting the ideas or finding, sourcing the, the supplies? Because I found that sometimes you work and then it's easier to just get the picture on Pinterest but then when it's time to put things together it's just like, uh, which is why I was stuck for so long putting the room together. So I think being an interior designer you have access and you know which supplies to go for and okay. you know it just speaks for itself with this room with yeah. all the amazing supplies. So I think it's the hard part, as I said, was easy with you, but some, some customers, it can be tricky because they do have mixed styles and you just really want to nail it down as quickly as possible just yeah. to get the move, the room going. So, so getting the stuff is easy. Getting the stuff is easy when you, yeah, exactly. This is literally my favorite part of the house. Oh, Not yeah. even the room, of the house. I love it. So yeah. um, this is a little reading corner for the kiddies and um, you guys can sit and read with them. And um, so these reading shelves that we got were from Young at Heart. Um, they're made from birch wood, absolutely stunning, and they're quite deep, so you can put toys as well as books. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to put this amazing um, floor cushion, which is made by a, a curtain cabin. And um, yeah, they they made it from scratch. They made it from scratch. I literally gave them a picture from Pinterest, and they copied it. They exactly. even came, I even got to feel and choose the the material, which was quite a nice no, experience. He's absolutely incredible. Yeah. yeah, I'd recommend him for everything, even your blinds and yeah. things like that. Then these little wall stickers are from Kiki and Frankie, which are just so much fun. If you don't want to invest in wallpaper, and this is a really great option, especially Kiki and Frankie, they've got some amazing stickers, and it's just so much fun, and they're amazing to work with. They're like leads, a lead in the in the kids. They yeah. are yeah. phenomenal. Their name just pops out every yes. time you talk about kids stuff. And you literally, you order something and like literally it's, delivered. Delivered. It's, no. it's there. It's amazing. This is also from Kiki and Frankie. So it's a little chalkboard which is really fun. And you can choose your border. So our theme were pops of duck egg. So that worked out quite well. The duck egg frame was stunning. 
And then we've got this cute shelf, um, this hexagonal shelf, and we chose also the duck egg green finish. Um, and it's a matching wood to the shelf, so we brought in all the wood elements just to make it feel, um, you know, like there are pops of the same elements going on. We can go to this teepee, which uh, is from my tiny teepee. And also, once again, they uh, you can choose your different colors, your different finishes. It was so easy to set up. I was, you know, when I saw the, the stuff arrive, I was like, okay, I'm not actually sure how to do it. Yeah. And you literally, I just, I mean, I'm not a technical person, and I just figured it out. It was incredible. This is Nuri's favorite spot. Oh, like the whole <laughs> pick a We literally play pick a the whole day. That's her favorite spot. Oh, she loves us. Yeah. So sweet. And then we decided to make it even more comfy with this floor cushion also made by the Curtain Cabin. And if you just look at the detail, they've like rouged it together with the button. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. And while we on the floor, this incredible rug is from Heirloom. And also with the pops of duck egg, uh, pings, you know, just some fun things for, uh, for the playroom. It's not too young. Um, but it's still really nice that you know they can use it in different rooms. And it's grab. really soft. It's so really soft. soft. So when Zani starts crawling, it will be it's nice for him. Yeah. Exactly. This beautiful tree is uh, from Silk by Design. Mm -hmm. they, you must honestly see this stuff. It's absolutely incredible. So realistic. Yeah, it looks really real. Even stuck inside, it looks like a real plant. Literally yeah. down to the T. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So we just decided to add like a bit of a fresh pop of, of a different color. Having an indoor tree in a house is always a good idea. Yeah. One of my favorite walls again. Ah, oh, this wall. This is like a master. Oh my goodness. These, this supplier is WCI Wallpapers. Please go look at their Instagram page. They are amazing. So they make custom made wallpapers yeah. and um, for Mpumi and Brendan they decided to, you know, we gave them some inspiration from Pinterest and obviously, you know, it's not legal to copy a, yeah. a design. So they just took that as inspiration and they made it right. their own and yeah. they completely listened to our brief and it has transformed this room. It's absolutely So stunning. no one else will have this wallpaper. No one else This will. is ours. We've got <laughs> TM. We should put it yeah, exactly. TM. Exactly. No, but this ours. I was shocked at how well at how well they got it right. I didn't know how we were gonna. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I didn't know how we were gonna get it right, but it's it actually blew my mind. And silly old me didn't realize that it was like animals. I just liked all the printing, and then print was like, oh, elephant. I'm just like, what are you talking about? She's like, do you not see elephant, chicken? All of this <laughs> drawing is animals, and it's it's just it's beautiful. I love that this room is. It's education as much as play. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They really, they really understood it. So this was once again by the fabulous Curtain Cabin, and they also just listened to our brief. We wanted like some fun tassels for a kids' room, not to just make it boring, but we also didn't want it to be too colourful. Then they outgrow it, and then you have to replace it in a few years' time. So you know, even if you want to get rid of the tassels in a few years, just to make it a bit more grown up, that's mm -hmm. also a possibility. So they completely listened to the brief, came to Mpumi with all these fabric samples, and I phenomenal. just got to choose. Yeah, this is our what do they call it? Montessori. Yeah, it's like a pigeonhole cupboard, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, and this is a guy that I use all the time for my custom-made items. Uh, his company is called Luminant Designs. Absolutely phenomenal. I promise you, you cannot get more of a perfectionist than, than the him. The edges are done so well. So, so well. Clean. Yeah. He's literally, you cannot get more of a perfectionist than him. Mm. If he, if you're not happy with something, he'll come back, no doubt about it, sort it out. It's, it's just so nice to have supplies that you can trust like that. Yeah. And then inside we have these cute baskets from Basketly. Um, they were also amazing to work with. They've got, you must go look at their website. They've yeah. got, uh, so many different types of baskets um you know and like I, even for me i was like you know there's a lot of work behind doing the designs so yeah like, i just need a basket this size these dimensions send me pictures and she was so happy to too oblige much, yeah. so and you can never have too many baskets never especially for storage we actually use these baskets to put in toys different toys so that we can swap them out so like i said you can never have i have a thousand baskets i've got these i've got for trees there's different uses um so many uses for baskets i feel like they bring so much life to a room 100%. Yeah, it's all you can never have too many baskets. And then we back at Kiki and Frankie, also, <laughs> they do everything, they're amazing. 
and they gave us custom made names for um, Zani and Yuri and we could choose our font, we chose our colors and yeah, absolutely stunning. It just pops in the room and if you if you have a theme color, it's always nice just to tie that in with a little pop. So, um, and that's that's exactly what we did with them. So duck egg was our theme theme color. Yes. I exactly. didn't know what, you kept saying duck egg and in the beginning I was like, what is this duck egg? <laughs> I can't say any ducks. Yeah, I was just like, what is this duck egg? And eventually I get it now, it's actually quite a nice, I would just say green. Do you want green. some green? Light, <laughs> light pastel green. Yeah, yeah. Okay. but we love duck egg, it's the theme of our room. And it makes sense, especially for gender neutral exactly. um, room. For, yeah, for both of them as yeah. a playroom, it's, it makes sense. But we decided to use these lights, change them up, use JK electricians to come in and transform the, you know, come put them in. They were so easy to work with as well. They were just so friendly and patient with us. Yeah. So yeah, I really enjoyed working with them. And we are to our slide. Everybody knows the slide by now. Yes, the slide is, has seen many, many people on, on <laughs> yeah. Instagram. Yeah, I've been on it, Brendan has been on it. So guys, this is not recommending that parents should go on it, but we've all been on it, thanks to Neri. And yeah, it's quite, it's, it's, it's the best thing that's happened to us. Yeah, it looks like so much fun. I haven't been down it personally, maybe I will after this. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really stunning. It's um, so suitable for all little kiddies. Um, they even uh, personalized it with uh, Zanya and Yuri's name on the side and the color that we asked for. So yeah, absolutely stunning. It fits in well. You can move it outside, inside. Um, very flexible. Anyway, no, no. we actually normally keep it in the living room, especially if we like want to be busy and don't want to be distracted, and then we'll like pretend to look. Parents don't do this, but we'll like, <laughs> pretend to look while they slide. So it's nice that it's movable. She can even push the slide. Over here outside, what do we have? This is a sensory table. It's actually a two-in-one. It's a sensory table and it also comes with lids. So it comes with um, instructions on different activities you can do. It's educational. It keeps the kids entertained for hours, which is great for the parents. And dirty. And dirty. <laughs> but then you can also put bucket in, uh, water in the other bucket and then they can clean them off. And then obviously you can also move it inside, put the lids on when you take the buckets out and it acts as like a normal table, table too. Yeah, yeah. And we've got two little, the, the chairs are my favorite. We've got two little key chairs. Yeah, yeah. It's for Nuri. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes it's yours. Nice. Well, it's you mine. Yes. I know it's your chairs. It's yours and Zanis. Do you want to sit on your chair? Should we go sit? Come, let's yes. show you yes. everyone how you sit nicely. Sit on your chair? Like a big girl. Wow. Yeah, mommy. You're sitting on your chair. Do you want mommy to sit with you? Mommy. Yeah, do you want water? She already knows that when she's using the table, it needs um, some water. So, and this is from uh, Hello Dovetail on Instagram. So, go check them out if you want to find some nice entertainment for your kids. Lastly, I have to introduce to my new friend, who's a friend of my friend, Candice. So, obviously, <laughs> that's why we've been yapping away. Yep. And she did um, the room photography, which I just think it made sense. So just tell everybody what exactly you do. Yes, so my name's Monique, and I just told Pumi I was in the fashion industry for many, many years. So my first love really was fashion. I loved it, anything about it, styling as well. So I'm currently a photographer focusing on fashion, beauty, interior, styling, yeah. everything like that. So adore it. I also need help with styling or shoots. Let me know. You're I'm girl. your gal. But you've been really focused on the interior and room photography yes, a lot lately. Yes. Right? Kind of by accident. So interior is actually quite a hard thing to shoot. Yeah. Not, I mean, and the challenge is always good. I know. But it's quite hard because you're always working with all these different lines. You yeah. Your vertical and your horizontal lines. And, you know, if you work in a, in a tight room, mm. it's, it can be quite challenging. But it's a really nice challenge so yeah. that's been amazing and I think yeah it's just I love meeting new people like meeting you guys today amazing. and we've already made plans to have a drink soon so <laughs> thank you so much such a pleasure thanks, thanks for amazing. having me awesome. love meeting what's you what's your Instagram handle so it's at a mother style edit at a thank you style. edit follow her on Instagram thank you guys cool <laughs> I'm so happy thank I'm you so, so much for coming on board and then lastly um what's your favorite type of design? Do you like prefer offices, playrooms, Ooh. living rooms? What's your favorite? That is a hard one. I've been doing a lot of playrooms lately and it has been a lot of fun, especially the different styles. And um, I love kids. And you I literally kids. were babysitting Nuri <laughs> the other day. Yeah. It was so much fun. And yeah. holding Zanyi, walking exactly. around. Yeah. So yeah, I really, that's also a perk of the job is you get to play with the kids. 
And then um, I also really enjoy living room. It's living like room. the transformations that come out of a good living room transformations work my best. Okay, so. let me get my coins right and then we'll call you for my living room. 100%. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Better call me. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys have always asked for a house tour. I can't promise a house tour, but I at least gave you a little something. Comment down below what you think of the room and give Keisha a follow. What's your Instagram handle again? It's my business is called The Homing Pigeon. And Why I'm The Instagram. Homing Pigeon? Sorry. This is like a fun, quirky, non pretentious interior design, approachable, fun. Let's just have fun with the process. It doesn't have to be serious. At the Homing Pigeon Inc. There we go. You can follow her and send her a DM or an email if you wanted to come help you transform either a room in the house, an office, or even the entire house. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.